Darlington. You know, we are at a new track. New track for us. Uh, it's our first time here at Darlington Raceway. It's been a pretty cool weekend. We are actually on board a car this weekend. A picture of it right here. 78 team live fast. Um, Motorsports has been gracious enough to have daily downforce out of the group and some of our YouTube channels on board. Uh, the folks at NWP are on board for this one. So we're really excited. We're going to show you guys some of the fan zone area here. Uh, this is the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. So a little bit more history oriented for this one. But if you come to a race at Darlington in the future, give you a chance to see what it's like here. Yeah. So we're excited. New track. It's been a long time since we've done one of these vlogs. Uh, happy to kind of be doing one of these again. Yeah, so come along with us. We'll show you around. So Claudia, one cool thing that they have here, and you can see some of the background, and there's some more there. They've got all these old school cars here, so it's really cool that you can care, come here and see all various generations of NASCAR cars here. Start from the beginning, kind of right behind us. Like, that looks like it was literally raced on the beaches of Daytona. Yeah, it said it was driven by Bill France, and then a couple other people on the side, and then you have this, like, new and probably... As new as, like... Here. Like Jeff, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr. That's weird to say, that car would be the newest one. Yes. But yeah. But anyway. it's really cool. They have all kinds of, we'll, we'll take you around and let you see some of these more in person. A really famous one here. And if you watch the Stapleton 42 YouTube channel, you've probably seen this one before. This is Midnight, the famous car that Rusty Wallace drove, the black number two Miller Genuine Draft Ford. Very iconic car from the early uh, days right there. So this is a very iconic one here, Jimmy Johnson. Now this is a, an 03 chassis actually, but it's been dressed up like the 06 paint scheme. And it said on the information here, this was an 03 chassis, but it was used as a road course testing car in 2005 and 2006, which is why it's dressed up and I like the 2006 paint scheme. And next to it is, of course, four-time champion Jeff Gordon. Got his car on display. Now, this is a super speedway car. You can tell by the nose on it. But this is dressed in his 07 paint scheme. So this, when I think of Jeff Gordon, I think of this car right here. Very iconic with the flames, in my opinion. And then right there, you think of Dale Earnhardt Jr., so you think of a red number eight. You think of that man right there, the iceberg. He's looking that car down very good for obvious reasons. He was a big Dale Jr. fan. But this is a very iconic paint scheme. The DEI number eight Budweiser Chevrolet. Uh, this looks to be like an 06 body style to me. And uh, it's just really cool to see this one back on display here. What's your thoughts, Mr. Iceberg? I feel like I'm 2006 all over again. Are you fanboying a little bit? A little bit. If you remember from the old NBC intro, look right here, they would start off with Junior turning it on right there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same same kind of gauge. This is a road course car from 2003 to 2006. Okay. Anytime Junior finished in the top five of the Glen, it was this chassis. Um, I don't know that just off the top of my head. I read off the plaque over there. <laughs> yeah, I've actually read the, the Jimmy Johnson one over there. That's an 03 chassis too, but they used it as a road course tester in 05 and 06. No, that so I think a lot of these, yeah, that one's a super speedway car. Yeah, what's super speedway? Because it looks a whole lot like uh, without, without the Monte Carlo logo. Uh, the 2005 one that yes. he won, uh, but they have Monte Carlo SS logos on them. The way, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give any, anyone that wants to hear a Dale Jr. nerd out how you can identify what year this Dale Jr. car was in. So Monte Carlo SS is 06, 07. What the way you can tell any year for a Dale Jr. car is this sticker. If he has this. It's 2006 or 2005. He didn't have this in 07, and before that, he had, um, I don't even know what the hell he had there. He might have had it Was there. it Bass Pro Shops? Bass Pro Shops usually up here, and then Menards is back here uh, after he had that clone uh, company. Oh, yeah. So, this is how I geek out on Dale Jr. stuff. The E, you can easily tell, is 04 to 07, because in 03, it went back here, and beforehand, it was all stripes. Uh, yes. I'm giving you a full college course, Dale Jr. Nerding 101. So, look at this. What's your name? Bryce. Bryce. Bryce made this awesome drawing of the uh, car for this weekend. That looks awesome, man. Good job. I can't say this enough. Thank you to everyone who came out to see us at our meet and greet on Sunday morning at Darlington Raceway. It was a great experience getting to meet some fans of the channel, fans of NWP, and just fans overall of what we've been trying to build here in the world of NASCAR YouTube for the last few years. Uh, seeing you all come out and talk to us and, and uh, just say hello, that really means a lot to creators like me and everyone else. So thank you so much. You guys make this worth doing. What a great experience. Thank you all for coming out.
Out in the fan zone area here, we've got some cool Chevy show cars on display. And in here we have a throwback look for Goodyear, the presenting sponsor of this year's race. They've got a fans on area. Look, there's Monica Palumbo in her old uh, Miss Sprint Cup uniform. That's pretty cool. So they've been in the process. You see here the, the, the old uh, plate here to explain what this car was. But now you can see a lot of them are starting to line up over there, some of the old cars. They're getting ready to have a, like a little parade of them, I think. Here comes the parade of cars. They're work, making their way down through here in front of Darlington. Claudia and I like to watch videos about uh, RV sometimes, and this is one of those uh, earth roamers. These things are massive. The price tag on them is massive too, but they are just so impressive. And we can actually go up here and check it out. So, let's uh, show you here on the back. Looks like is this like a this is a Traeger grill, a little cutting board right there. Plenty of uh, space there for those. Pelican cargo box up there. Step up here and does it look pretty cool? Yeah, it's kind of fun to like step up in. So we can only get so far, but let's just check it out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sleeping area over there. He said this is about 825,000. So I believe it. I believe yeah. it. All right, this is a tradition to every new track we go to. Claudia, we got to get us a new shirt from, from each that, race track. I've kept that tradition minus Michigan because I was being too picky. And <laughs> just wanted to look at all the stands and then when I finally went to buy one they didn't have my size left so I was like I'll just buy one online now it's like what two years later yeah almost coming up in August and I realized the other day I never bought a shirt so you know what I gotta go online and find a shirt get that traditional or I gotta take her back to Michigan one day that too but yeah. I did get me a shirt from Michigan so now we gotta get us one from Darlington so here we, we do go. here we are online all right fashion show time all right I got one of these as they would call a fishing shirt, it's like that. I don't want to say drop material. Athletic material. The Darlington Faceway. The old school kind of. It's too tough to tame. All right, and I'll show off his. He got an old school looking shirt. Looks like it's very 90s uh, based. Darlington Raceway with a uh, you know, old Ford Thunderbird on there, I think. Sure, sounds great. It looks pretty good. But anyway, so yep, we got us our new shirts, and I think that's pretty much all we need to do out here. I mean, I think we'll still walk around, but we got, we got the bag. Yep. And that pretty much wraps up the vlog from checking out the fan zone it was a great experience there at darlington raceway we were very happy with our first trip there and thanks again to the folks at live fast motorsports and daily downforce for the opportunity to be there checking out this car we went up and watched a little bit of the xfinity race on saturday from the grandstand but then we got to see the cup car itself on track on sunday we even got to sit up in the pit box for a minute and it was a great time all around that's gonna wrap it up here from darlington raceway with us uh, sorry we kind of missed that a little bit there. The fans got a little hectic. 
but appreciate the folks over at Live Fast Motorsports, Daily Downpours, Eric, you stepping out of the group for allowing us to be on board the 78 car this week. Such a cool opportunity. Me and Claudia got to go sit up in the pit box and watch a little yeah. bit of race there. We had never done that before. Claudia, what'd you think of that? Oh, that was so cool. I mean, it was tighter, like the space, like I had to sit to the side because the, the space in between the rows were so tight. Um, but it was cool to really like listen to the scanner and like hear the communication and then watch it come in for the pit. Um, yeah, it was really cool. That's something I never thought I'd ever experience. Um, but yeah, it was a very cool opportunity. Overall, this is one of NASCAR's most historic tracks. And I think it put on overall a pretty exciting race here today. Yeah. Uh, Ross Chastain doing Ross Chastain things. Gets into it. Kyle Larson ends their chances at the win. But William Byron gets redemption from last year. He takes the win. You can see the haulers, uh, Sunoco hauler, and all that is heading out of the track right now. We're about to head on out of here. We had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. If you're ever going to come to a race here at Darlington, again, this was the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. So a little bit more historic at this year's yeah, race. Yeah, it was. But this, hopefully this gives you an idea of what to expect when you come out to a race here at Darlington Raceway. So until next time, thanks for watching our vlog. And we'll see you at the next one. Our next race is Nashville Super Speedway. Our next new track is probably going to be New Hampshire Motor Speedway. So check that out in July. Check that out in July. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, Bye guys. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video from Day to Be Talked. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss another new video here on Day to Be Talked. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.